Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with a vlog. Very tired, very exhausted, and not a lot of time to do anything else. Due to the fact my night was ruined by a co-worker who cannot seem to understand not everything is going to go his way. I tried at the time to get his shift covered. The reason why I tried was he was saying that he couldn't get, uh, well, rather, he couldn't s breathe through his mask, uh, through his nose. He seemed to have some sort of nasal sinus issue at the time. And then apparently he started having nosebleeds at some point. I tried to get everyone else to cover. Everyone who wasn't working, anyone who, you know, already had the day off or what have you. Couldn't do it. Couldn't get anyone to cover. And sometimes that's just how it is. People have lives outside of work. I fucking open the next day. Sometimes that's just how it is. And he seems to take personal offense to any time things don't go his way. And that kind of blew up yesterday evening, technically, I was dead asleep when I was called in the middle of, well, trying to sleep, but also middle of the afternoon, because I was trying to get ready for work the next day, and then try to get more recording stuff done, which I couldn't do, because I ran out of waking hours to do it because I couldn't sleep he called saying that the nosebleeds had just popped up and that I should try and find someone to cover her shift I told him I'd try I tried everyone I could I had to come back and tell him there's no one who can I've got no answers out of the people who probably could. And I know that there's two who cannot because they're already at their limit. And he proceeds to whine and complain and discount everything we have done to cover his other times where he was ill or, you know, what have you. And I just kind of snap a little bit. I just tell him, go home. I was done. If he was going to complain and discount everything everyone else has done for him and just ignore the fact that we have helped cover things before, tried to help make his life easier before, in ways that he complained about before. I just didn't want to deal with it. I just told him, go home. Simply that, go home. It was, I figured, probably slow enough. I even pestered the f living fuck out of the one guy I knew could attempt to cover, but who was already at his limit, to at least cover a couple hours of the shift. And instead, I find out that guy didn't do it 
because the other guy who I told to go home didn't go home. He instead started to complain about the fact I told him to go home. The thing he fucking wanted. He apparently complained about my way I said it. I don't know what to think now. So I just told him straight up, you're acting childish. This behavior is appalling. We have done multiple things for you in this sort of regard before. The one time we can't and you complain about it and complain and just I'm telling you to go home and you are complaining and just it ruined pretty much every other chance for sleep that I had I would have been fine if it wasn't for that and I just, I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. And the guy who was left alone for his closing shift because of both this kid and the other guy who apparently decided it wasn't worth his time dealing with this whole bullshit too. Apparently he's fine. But at the same time, I'm annoyed because I'm getting told I'm a bad manager. I'm getting told that I'm not willing to do my job. Which apparently is come cover for him. When I've already done my time. I do time the next day. Within eight hours of the time I would have to cover. I have a life outside of work. And he just clearly doesn't seem to care. Other people have lives outside of work. He doesn't seem to care if it doesn't suit him. And it just pisses me off. It pisses me off to no end. And a lot of you are probably thinking, well, fire him. I don't have that power. I wish I had that power. But as it is, I'm going to be trying to find his replacement. But Yeah, it's just, it ruined my night, my week, and quite frankly, uh, I just kind of wanted to crawl into a hole and just not wake up. So... Yeah. I kind of want to go back to sleep, but I can't. I have to go to work. That is probably the most annoying part of the whole thing. I have been tired all week. And I was hoping to get just a proper good night's sleep. And I can't even get that because this kid cannot seem to understand that sometimes things won't go his way. Yes, I understand nosebleeds are not great. And yes, I understand that having to work with a sinus issue is not great. I've had to do it before. I've had to do far worse stuff before. 
I've had to go to work with food poisoning where nothing I drank or ate would keep down. I would constantly have to be running to the bathroom because it would not stay in my system. I had to work in triple digit weather when my heat intolerance was at its worst. I would end up almost fainting while I was working. Sometimes you just don't feel good at work. And if you can't get it covered by someone else, you just have to soldier on through it. But... I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old. Maybe I'm just getting old and the youngins seem to be so much more whiny. I don't know. Maybe I'm just finally getting old. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm ending this vlog before I get more whiny and bitchy and annoying. As it is, I'm already annoyed at myself and annoyed at the situation. And I want to go back to bed. And I can't even do that. And I'm more annoyed about that than I think anything else. But... I'm just going to end the vlog here for right now. I do apologize that there's no gameplay today. And that I hope you can understand why. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games, vlogging, being utterly exhausted, and trying his damnedest to manage a crew. That seems more and more like a fucking high school every day.